see, you've overloaded it. If you've got a small station wagon or a car with a trunk, how do you get things to go in there when they're bigger than the back area? I want to introduce you to Sean Pickford. He's the do-it-yourself guy here at QVC. Good to How see you. How you doing? What do you th I'd like these. I, I wear readers. These are awesome. They fit right over it. Right over the readers, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. what do we do? I mean, for years, we had the dilemma that when you overpacked a vehicle, you try to strap it down with the regular bungee cord, which stretches, which means things flop around. Exactly. Damage your paint. Right. Things are not secure. Right. Twine or rope just doesn't work. No. There's a company called Easy Strap that came to the rescue. This is a specific problem solution item. This is brilliantly done. Right. And that suction cup is massively strong. Well, it's a vacuum suction cup. Okay. All right. So it allows me to have 200 pounds of vertical force, 69 pounds of horizontal force, so I can pull on this guy all day long. It's not coming loose. Yep. The attaching strap that you have here is 13.5 feet long because <laughs> things are big, things are small, yep. depending on the size of the hatch or the trunk you're closing. I love this feature. Neoprene so you don't damage oh, your paint. Oh my. How There's many nothing else like this. Uh, I was looking for this exact item and didn't know it existed. And it was just a simple situation of bringing a couple things home in the back of an SUV and couldn't get the, the tailgate to secure and, and make me feel comfortable. Look. With this, now it is strapped in. Well, you and lock the cable in, you're ready to go. And not only that, you're protecting everything, it's locked in, 1,020 pounds of force you can exert on the strap here. None of this is going to move. You even get the carry bag here, but this doubles as a reflective piece, so when you have lumber or things sticking out of the back of your vehicle. By law, you right. have to mark it. And especially, these are reflective tapes, so in the dark, people can see them. This is so much more safe and secure. Yep. It's safe on the glass, it's safe on the paint. It's a much better way to secure your hatch or your trunk. It's a pretty day out here, but let's say it was an ugly day and I still have to move stuff. It wouldn't matter if it were raining, it would not affect the straps, no. the neoprene, and would not affect that suction. Well, that's the that's a vacuum suction. Come on over here. Let me show them what they're going to get. Sure. And then we'll go back and I'll show a couple other demonstrations. This is all these folks do. This is a vacuum suction that gives you so much pressure that things are not going to come out. Here's your 13 plus foot strap. Here's a clip, and I'll show you why that's important, because if you've got a car with a trunk, yep. you'll use that. You're going to get a microfiber cloth to make sure that the painted area is nice and clean before you put down your suction cup. You're going to get the box, and then you're also going to get the reflective storage bag. Right, and the suction cup here, it's the same one that the big manufacturer window guys in all the office buildings, yes. you see them carry them big plates of glass, how do they do it? They do it with a vacuum suction cup so that when you pull this guy in, you can see how it concaves. It sucks onto the surface, but it doesn't damage the painted surface. It stays there it's as all long rubber. as you want it to, right. but removes in a matter of just a few seconds. Take a look. So when you overload your vehicle, and it may not happen every day, there's where the clip comes into play, but all of us have had a situation where you're helping someone move or you bought something that just doesn't fit in the back of the car. The problem is you find out after you've purchased it. You <laughs> yes, don't do true. that beforehand. You buy yes. it, you get out there and you realize, oh, the golf clubs are still in the trunk. What do I do? Let's face For it. For me, it was a barbecue grill. Yeah. Okay, uh, and this is guy vision. I went out, I looked at the grill and I went, you know what? Yeah, that, that's not gonna be big enough. So stepped up, moved up a couple models. Look at that. You can even make your own coat hanger system and in the back the of your car oh, and it'll good. hold the weight. So there's so many ways you can use it, but here's the perfect scenario. Yep. You went and you had to pick up the kid's bike and the umbrella because you're going somewhere for the day and you forgot, oh, the, all the golf clubs and all that other stuff's in there. So what do you do? I mean, this isn't a small car. This is an average size vehicle. Right. Well, we have a better way to do this. Take your easy strap system, go ahead and get it out of your bag that you have stored in your trunk or even fit in the center console. I, I primarily drive a, a pickup truck and I know you do too. I do. I right. thought about that, 30 different ways that I could use one or two of these. So here's your suction cup here. Yep. So all we do is you take the cloth, you can go ahead and wipe this off. All right, you want the a nice clean, with it. nice clean surface. Go ahead and take this down. You can almost hear it suck on there. Yeah. All right, again, we'll do it so you can see. Hear that? It's on. It's on there. So now we're nice and secure. 
We adjusted the neoprene here because we don't want the paint rubbing. This is the spot where it would rub your paint off if it was a rope twine or that bungee cord. Yep. Don't have to worry about it. Here's the little clip we were talking about. There's the trunk piece right there. Sorry, Dan, didn't mean you there get you your finger. So go ahead and slide that in there. Then now all I have to do, it's really simple. I just have to pull on the strap here. You just cinch it down. Just cinch it down. Until it makes contact and it will lock itself into place. And now this is secure. Right, this isn't flopping around. It isn't going anywhere. It's not going to blow off. I don't have metal clips that's digging into the paint yep. like the bungee cords and other things have. So it makes it so much easier. It's so much more safe and secure. We are the first retailer yes. in America, first retailer in the world to make these available to you. And it's from Easy Strap. Uh, I am really excited about heading out to Vegas in June, in uh, early May, pardon me, to go to the National Hardware Show where these folks are gonna be demonstrating their newest evolution of products. They make you safer when you drive. They make things much more secure. If you do one move, just one move, it's worth the $24.95. But safety-wise, it's, it's brilliantly engineered. It does the work without damaging your, your automobiles. And automobiles are more expensive than ever before. And it's all about the vacuum suction cup that we have here because this allows you to put it on the glass, allows you to secure it to the Any paint. Any smooth surface. Any smooth surface, you put it on there, you press it in place, and it will stay there until you remove this latch and take it off. Yep. If you have your own strap you want to put on there, you can. Use this one, it's rated for 1,020 pounds of workforce Great. against it. It has the neoprene here, so it protects your painted edges. You paid a lot of money for your vehicle. You don't want the hatch or the trunk flopping around. We're always moving ladders around. I love my little giant ladder, used it yesterday, mm -hmm. picking up two by fours. The SUVs are getting smaller, but the things we're putting in are them stay the bigger. same size. That's true. So it makes it easier, whether it's an SUV, whether it's your car trunk. You and I have pickup trucks to cinch down a tarp on a pickup truck when you're moving somebody's furniture. Yep. This is so much easier. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Tell your engineers they did a fabulous job on this. First time ever made available. We've got them. We don't have a lot. $24.95 brings them to you. Uh, I know Dad's Day is a little bit down on the calendar. Mom's Day comes first. Uh, but as a Dad's Day gift, oh, it's perfect. You use it once and it pays for itself. Yes, it does. Brilliant. By the way, coming up, our today's special value after the today's special value, I'm gonna have an opportunity to show you